Hello again. This is part two of the topic Why stay we here till we die? In the first part, I was speaking to you on the topic Why stay we here till we die? And we began to talk about the ingredients for moving forward. Now I continue. The first ingredient for moving forward that I discussed in part one was decision, quality decision. The choices you make, your decisions, your daily decisions. Is going to determine your moving forward or your staying where you are. The second thing is unflinching desire. The book of Mark chapter 11 verse 24 says, What things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. You need to desire the good life. You need to desire the good life. It is not a sin to desire something that is good. It is not a sin. It is not carnality to desire to be blessed. It is not a sin to desire to be rich in life. In fact, it is good. God expects us to move forward, to increase, to be blessed, to be, to be blessed, to move forward. It is not covetousness to desire riches, like some people think. No, money is not the root of all evil. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 did not say so. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 says, The love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. It did not say money is the root of all evil. But it says the love of money. Many rich people do not love money as some poor people. The love of money is the craze for money. The, the desire for money that gives you, the, that opens the, the room for you to get money by all means, through killing, through duping people, through enemies that will make other people weep and cry while you are rejoicing with money. The ability to have money and not be ready to help other people, that's the love of money. See, if you do not love money, your decision to want to get money is not wrong. The second thing, the second ingredient of moving forward is vision and dream. A vision is a clear-cut written purpose and direction for your life. A clear-cut goal for your life. What you want to become in future. What you want God to do for you in one month's time. What you want to achieve in the next one year what you want to achieve in the next five years, where you want to be in the next 10 years, the kind of house you want to leave, the kind of vehicle or car you want to ride, the kinds of friends you want to keep. These are goals. And these goals and vision you work with every day. Vision is the ability to create your desired purpose in life. It is the, it, it, the ability to create your desired purpose. In your heart and mind you get there in your heart you know where you are going then in real life you get there by daily goals and plans that is vision it is like those four leprous men they were full of vision Abaku chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 says write the vision upon tablet you must write it down you must know where you are going if you don't write it down you will get lost. But when you write it down, you will know what you have achieved and what you have not achieved. Vision is very, very important. Vision is seeing your future clearly from now. You can know the kind of car you are going to ride in five years time now. And when you know it now, you begin to walk towards it by setting daily goals, by setting weekly goals, by setting monthly goals. By setting yearly goals, you can get to where you want to be in five years' time. And because you have written it down, you will know when you are not making it. You know when you are missing it. You will know whether the goal that you have set is going to make you to get there. Or you are going to change the plan. You are going to change the goal. These are things you have to do. Vision is the ability to know the end of your life. And the power to pursue it till you get there. You need vision. Without vision, you cannot move ahead. Without vision, you cannot move forward. Why stay we here till we die? 
what position are you are you a messenger why stay you as a messenger till you die go to school develop yourself attend seminars listen to successful men move forward by all means why stay we here till we die are you a graduate go for master's degree do you have master's degree go for more seminars develop yourself make research do new things these are way to move forward are you a pastor that is good look for something to better the life of other people many people have come here to make our lives better by getting us better things in life somebody made the telephone for us somebody made the television for us somebody was at the back of this internet thing this internet has made many millionaires out of people but it's a creation of somebody somebody got the idea you can think of something else what are you going to do to bring relief to this world what are you going to do to bring joy to this world what are you going to do to add color to another person's life these are things that will make you to move forward i have discovered and found out that many rich people did not start out to become so rich they started out to be to, to help other people henry ford was said to be obsessed with the idea of giving cars to every family in the united states of america that obsession helped him to become one of the richest men of his time because as we added then motor vehicles was the exclusive right of the rich but henry ford said no every family in america must have a car and he became stupendously rich when you are how to help the poor when you are how to help the masses when you think of something to help those people who do not have you will end up being stupendously rich that is the law of life my brother my sister go out there and make your life the life of other people better and the end result will be riches for you it is well with your soul thank you for listening once again my name is sunday joseph adenuga of Success Dimension Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. We accept invitations to preach and teach in churches all around the world. If you love this telecast and you want us to come and preach in your church, you can send me an invitation. My Gmail address is successdimensionchurch at gmail.com. You can phone me at plus two three four eight zero five four zero four one four six two donations to this ministry will be thankfully received from you we need your donations donate generously phone me you can send your donations through western union money transfer or you can send it directly to our bank account phone me and i'm going to give you details of our bank account thank you god bless you once again, you can also visit us at motivationfortoday.com or you can visit more of my video broadcasts through YouTube at www.youtube.com slash success galore. Success galore, you write it together, no space. www.youtube.com slash success galore. Thank you. God bless you.